Hey guys, Jerry here. Hope everybody's doing very well. I just wanted to do a quick uh, haul video and just show just a few books that I picked up uh, very recently and uh, also ask you a question about digital comics. And so uh, this week uh, I got issue number 18 of Justice League, the new 52. Uh, this has been an excellent ongoing series. You've got Jeff Johns. Uh, doing the the writing, he's just one of the best comic book writers there is today, as, as most of you are aware, uh, and uh, I highly recommend this. Great art, pretty good story, good writing. Uh, Justice League, definitely check that out. Also, one that a uh, book by IDW that some of you may not be terribly familiar uh, with, and I'm reading is The Hollows. Uh, this is issue number four, uh, and uh, it's uh, artwork by the wonderful Sam Keith, who is very much has his own particular style, uh, and well, as most artists do, but you know, he's not really quite like anybody else. He definitely, you know, is a stylist, has his own style, and uh, this is a very interesting story uh, about a dystopic world, another dystopic world, I know, and uh, people who live in trees basically gigantic tree houses and then like uh, the people who live in the disaster area below. So it's a very interesting, fanciful uh, story. This is issue number four of uh, The Hollows. I highly uh, recommend it. Quite different. Something interesting and different. A happy surprise for me uh, this week. This is issue number five of Uncanny Avengers. Uh, I had not read this before, uh, and I actually found this to be quite quite fun, quite interesting, uh, well written, uh, artwork is quite good. Uh, some of you are already on this bandwagon. I was to it just a little belatedly. I will be getting the back issues on this. My only quibble is that, and it is a quibble, is that you see, huge Thor fan, but you know Thor is just kind of. I don't think he says anything in the entire issue. He's kind of like background furniture or something. So, you know, just a little bit more Thor, please, in the future issues. But I was actually very enthusiastic about Uncanny Avengers, and I would uh, recommend that. I would also recommend uh, this latest issue of Doctor Who, Prisoners of Time. I think that the second issue is already out, but this is issue number one, also put out by IDW. And uh, there's a lot of 50th anniversary Doctor Who observations going on, television specials, comic books, uh, and the such uh, to mark the 50th anniversary uh, of this show. And uh, if you've never watched Doctor Who, uh, it's really excellent. I have to say, and please don't throw things at me, I'm not a huge fan of the current Doctor Who, Matt Smith. Uh, I don't dislike him or hate him or anything like that. He just doesn't quite do it for me like some in the past have. Uh, but these are these are excellent. These are very well done, true to the spirit of the television show. And so I highly recommend the uh, the Doctor uh, Who book. Also, I think I mentioned in one of my last videos that I was going to cut back on some of the Manola titles that I was getting because it just seemed to me they're just being churned out and they're sort of formulaic and not terribly good, you know, not awful maybe, but kind of this, too much of the same thing and not, not terribly great. So, but anyway, uh, this is issue uh, number four, uh, and I believe this is the, the last issue as well, of Manola's A Hellboy in Hell, and this was a really good uh, run. You know, haven't really seen much of Hellboy in the past year or so, and, you know, he was back for these issues, and this was a uh, I thought a really excellent storyline, very well done. I highly recommend you go get these four issues, or you know, get the trade, get the trade whenever it comes out. You know, so I highly recommend that. I did cut back on a couple of the Manola issues, but I'm still getting uh, 1948, uh, which I also highly recommend. Also, another big recommendation: uh, we picked up uh, Thor, God of Thunder. This is issue number six. The glare is. Just really killing me here, um, and uh, looks like someone's trying to pick up Thor's hammer. This, these are really superb. I was a little 
At first, I was immediately impressed with the uh, artwork in it, which is just spectacular. The uh, the story seemed good. Writing, I wasn't quite sure, but I'm more on board with it now. You know, I'm, I'm, I can honestly say I'm all the way around enthusiastic about this and highly recommend Thor God of Thunder. Uh, this is issue number six, and this may not be the most recent one. I'm not quite sure. Curse of Man um, can tell me or something. I haven't been to the store in a couple of weeks or so. Uh, also, I picked up, I, thought, I think this is really excellent as well and a lot of fun, the um, collection of uh, the new Teen Titans uh, trade called Gang. And um, I was really not on board fully with comic books back in the 80s when the new Teen Titans, uh, you know, uh, by uh, Marv Wolfman and the, the great artist George Perez was doing its legendary uh, run. Uh, and so I had to play catch up years later, uh, and a lot of you may know the story of this. They were planning this. They had finished with the original run of the series back in the 80s, and they were going to get together a couple of years later to do this issue as kind of a send-off, a farewell, and they got started on it, but, you know, it so often happens, life intervenes, things happen, people, uh, things happen in people's lives, people go on to other different venues in their career. Uh, and so this was put on hold, and they tried a couple of times over the years to go back and finish it. Uh, and it finally got finished and came out, I think this came out last year, maybe last fall. But, you know, the Teen Titans creative team of Wolfman and Perez are back. Uh, they're wonderful. And I'm actually a fan of Perez's work from the 70s and the 80s more than what he is now. But here he, he talks about in the either the forward or afterward to this, uh, about trying to get back to his, you know, looking like the work that he was doing at that time. And uh, there's been subtle shifts in his work over the years, as happens with people, you know, you, you grow as an artist and things change, but I really like his Avengers work from the 70s. Love the Wonder Woman that he did in the uh, late 80s very early 90s. If you haven't read that series, it's spectacular. I think maybe the best Wonder Woman there ever was, but I do highly recommend New Teen Titans uh, Gang. Uh, excellent book. I was also uh, watching a couple of uh, comics uh, videos talking about digital comics, and I'm wondering what, uh, and I'd really like for some of you to address this in the comments, if you would speak to what what do you think about digital comics? Um, I'm still kind of old fashioned as far as ebooks and such. I really, I've got some ebooks, you know, downloaded, but I haven't read them. I can't really imagine reading a book online, a full book. You know, I do read a lot of news online and such, but um, I, I don't really uh, read, uh, I, I don't read, I've never read a digital comic before. I know they're, you know, they're becoming more popular. And at this point, to say that you, don't like or don't believe in ebooks or digital comics is probably you might as well you know shake your fist at the sun uh, you know that's the wave of the future no doubt but I wonder I have to I have to think I have to wonder like what does this mean for collecting as far as comic books you know especially with comic books there's just something very unique about holding that in your hands the artwork uh, you know so what will it do to collecting uh, I can't imagine us being nostalgic for a digital book, you know, decades in the future, you know. Uh, this, this, this looked better in this pixels, you know, instead of that one or whatever. But, uh, you know, I'd like for you to share what your thoughts on that about uh, the, um, the uh, digital comic books and what does it mean for comic book collecting. Are you for them? Are you against them? Do you not care? Do you enjoy them? Uh, and what do you think the future of it is? I don't think they've really taken off in a big way, you know, but uh, they're here. They're going to continue to be here. Whether they'll grow in popularity is yet to be seen, but I think it's an interesting question. I'd like for you to share your thoughts. So um, that's pretty much it. I managed to keep this video under 10 minutes, uh, which is a rarity. I uh, want to shout out to my uh, good friends, Tony Montgomery and... Uh, uh, mention I'll, I'll put a link to uh, his wonderful uh, YouTube comic book, I'm sorry, his uh, Facebook comic book page, Comic Book Central. Please go there and share all of your comic book news and 
uh, an interest. And also, I would like to mention my Facebook movie page, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me. And I'll try to put a link to that as well below. And if you go to Facebook and you just type in Comic Book Central or you type in uh, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me, you know, they'll pop up and you can join. And please be an active member and share your thoughts, comments, posts on uh, movies and comic books. So, Thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, your comments as to what you thought about the books. If you have any of these, you know, share what you think about them. Also, big shout out before I go to uh, uh, my friend Ben Jones, uh, uh, Gambit896. I highly recommend that you subscribe to him here on YouTube. He's doing just a, he's amassing a really wonderful collection of uh, videos, and he's, he's really, uh, excellent at giving critiques and analysis of the books once you've read them, uh, you know. So I highly recommend uh, Gambit896 on YouTube, and um, much love to all of you guys. Hope you're all doing well and having a good spring, and I'll speak with you soon.